So welcome back to the One Class channel. Again, my name is Joey. I'm going to be your chemistry teacher for this session. So for tuning into One Class for the first time, again, uh, what we're doing here is at One Class, what we're doing is we're providing some online resources, such as live streams and videos for you to kind of tune in. Um, so basically what we're doing here at One Class is we're going through a session of just um, kind of verifying solutions asked by frequently asked, um, uh, frequently asked questions asked by students. So this ranges from basically um, the secondary level in terms of chemistry and mathematics subjects and it also range, uh, it goes all the way to uh, the university and college level in terms of chemistry and also math as well so um this the, today what we're going to do is we're going to i'm going to kind of go over some frequently asked uh, chemistry questions and this uh this is a pretty big range between basically grade 10 all the way up to kind of university and or in organic chemistry as well so I'm going to answer um, basically 10 questions about or 10 to 11 questions about those uh, types of topics um, and that's going to be our hour for today. So my name is Joey. I'm going to be, uh, I'm currently an Ontario secondary school educator. Uh, my teachable subjects are indeed chemistry and mathematics. So hopefully I'll be able to kind of uh, walk through the solutions with you, teach you the concepts behind the questions and kind of um, explain my thinking as we go forth um, uh, to do these questions as well. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started on uh, today's problems for uh, like uh, for chemistry today. So. Uh, what we have here is uh, the first question is asking us what is the formula for hydrosulfuric acid let's let's so this is a pretty easy question here Oop. it's kind of zoomed in again i might have to refresh here okay so i want the formula for hydrosulfuric acid So what is the formula for hydrosulfuric acid? So uh, I think I want to think about this question. We're going to start off pretty easy um, and then we'll move on to much harder problems as we go forth. But it's asking us what is the formula for hydrosulfuric um, acid? And there's actually a little error in terms of this question. There's no actually such thing as hydrosulfuric acid here. This compound doesn't really exist in terms of the the IUPAC naming here. It, um, I think the, what the what the um, what the student was trying to ask here is what is the formula for simply just sulfuric acid? Hydrogen hydrosulfuric acid doesn't really make sense, uh, just because this here is an oxy acid. Uh, you basically only use hydro when you uh, when you kind of uh, when you have a binary acid here. So a sulfuric acid example of an oxy acid. And um, you basically only the, use the pre prefix hydro if it's a binary acid, which sulfuric acid is not. So hydro reserved for binary acids. And if you want to know the difference between the oxy acids and and um, and what a binary acid is, oxy acid, uh, uh, binary acid, you could think of this as like HCl something that's only made up of two compounds, a hydrogen and usually a halogen as well. So HCl, obviously we know it's hydrochloric acid. And let me just write the aqueous state as well here. Um, this here is again, I know that this is hydrochloric acid. And an, ox an example of an oxy acid here would be something with an oxygen. So for example, um, phosphoric acid, H3PO4. This here would be a, uh, this here would uh, be an oxy acid because it has an oxygen in it, right? Phosphoric acid. So it's asking us, what is the formula for, uh, so we know that this hydro is gone, right? So it's, what is the formula for sulfuric acid? So in order for us to solve this question, we have to look at uh, look at sulfuric acid here. Sulfuric acid comes from the, uh, the polyatomic sulfate, right? So if I work backwards here, so sulfuric, acid comes from uh, the prefix of sulfate here, which is a polyatomic ion, right? Sulfate here. And if you uh, if you remember from uh, from our rules here, uh, ic acid is, uh, we're changing ic to eight, right? If we want to convert it back to a polyatomic, ic to eight and us to it here. So this is sulfate. And we know that sulfate here is, um, sulfate here is, is SO4, right? Sulfate here is our polyatomic ion, very, very common. And this guy here is SO4 2 minus, right? So this here is our polyatomic ion. 
SO4 2 minus. And finally, if we have SO4 2 minus, all we do, all we need to do is add the hydrogen. Remember, sulfuric acid contains of two parts. It contains of the hydrogens, this is obviously an acid, and then also the sulfate part, right? So if I have hydrogens as well, how many hydrogens do I need to balance out this charge? SO4 2 minus, I would need obviously two hydrogens. I would need H. I would need two hydrogens, right? So I would need H2 here. So uh, because again, each hydrogen contains well, a one plus charge, right? So if I have two hydrogens here, I can uh, these will bond towards uh, this will bond with the sulfate ion to get H two SO four here. So this is H two SO four, and this would be our our uh, our uh, chemical formula for sulfuric acid H two SO four, like so. And as you can see, this this correct uh, this is the correct answer H two SO four. Um, if H2S is also a common answer that a lot of people find here. So if you read, if you wrote H2S, this here is actually the incorrect answer. So H2S, let me write down H2S for you here. My pen works. There we go. Uh, H2S is actually hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide. And you have to really look at the prefixes here. IDE and ATE here are very, very different. IDE just uh, refers to the sulfur atom. ATE refers to the polyatomic sulfate. So you have to make sure that uh, we know which ones we're talking about. In this case, we're talking about the polyatomic here, sulfate. Remember, it becomes eight, not I'd here. So this here, uh, eight hydrogen sulfide here it would be an incorrect answer if you were to uh, use this as well. So uh, this here is correct. This is number one. H2SO4 is our answer here. So here's correct. So uh, good solution. Great analysis here.